So black's last move was queen e5 and it looks pretty hopeless. And this position actually reminds me of many studies which have solved, uh, which have very similar pattern. And here you have to have a very sharp eye to notice that the white king is stuck on h3. It doesn't really have a good square. So white has to aim for stalemate. And the idea is to give up the bishop and knight. But what move order do you go, go in with? Because let's say if you play bishop g6 check, trying to give away the bishop, um, black king captures back, and then let's say you play knight f4. White is, uh, black is not really forced to capture on f4. He can go back to h7. And now you're stuck with two pieces which can move and the stalemate trick has really gone bad. So it's important to play very, very forcing moves. And that's why knight f4 is the key idea. Now black has only one move to capture the knight. Then you play bishop g6. Again, black has only one move to capture the bishop back. And the last straw of the puzzle is to play h5. And if you capture or not, if you move the king anywhere, it's the same. Uh, the king on h3 is stalemated. A very pretty puzzle which requires slight accuracy. Black has played the move bishop takes pawn on d4 and if it is a real game it looks pretty hopeless and your instinct could be to resign in this position but with the last move bishop on d4 has taken away one square on a1 and although you can see that the white king has the square b1 you won't really think of stalemate unless you have solved such puzzles very often and the idea is that if you move the rook on c2, let's say rook to c8, now you can see that the king on a2 is stalemated. Black is forced to move or capture. Doesn't matter what it does. Let's say he goes bishop c8, you give up the queen and it's a stalemate. And if he tries to escape, you don't really stop here. You play the precise move rook a8, the second key move of the po position. Again, whatever it captures with, you give up the queen. The important thing is not to give up the queen on a square where the bishop on d4 will move. And now, you know, you have a square like b2 and a1 for the king. So the idea is to give up the rook and the queen in the most efficient way. So he takes, you play queen c8, king a7 and it's a stalemate. 